Hearts have been broken, but did their love stand the test of time? We're talking a decade. We will never forget Jasmine, who was set to walk down the aisle with her fiancé, Jonathan, just nine days after they were appearing on our show. So with the evidence piling up around her, Jasmine feared that her wedding would never happen. Jasmine's bridemaid, Yashika, claimed that she saw Jonathan with another woman. Watch. We are getting married in nine days. I have gone dress shopping. I have picked the most perfect, beautiful gown that you can imagine. My bridesmaid, Yashika, saw my fiance holding another woman's hand. Three weeks ago, your bridesmaid sees him in the mall? She's seen him in the mall. He claims it was his brother, Maury. She knows his face. What did you see? Finds him in the mall with the female, and no, that was just oh! not. in a relationship. Jonathan has a job, right? He goes to work every day. Jonathan goes to work. Maury, he lays bricks. Who in the hell puts on suits to lay a... Are your results, Yashika? You were asked if you lied about seeing Jonathan in the mall holding another woman's hand. You said no. That was a lie. Oh, no, Yashika, no you were asked if you are jealous that Jasmine is getting married and you are not. You said no. That was a lie. Oh, my God, no, no. We wanted the whole truth. So we had our private investigator, Wendy Kleinet, do her own investigation. With your fiance, Jonathan, what was caught on video, you need to rethink this, okay, about walking down the aisle. Take a look. The time you cheated on your lady was with one of her friends. I did this with one friend. No, no, no. Look at you. You can't get enough of my hands. Other than the time Jasmine knows about during your relationship, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> So what happened to this couple after that dramatic appearance? Our segment producer, Mike Bernazian, tracked down Jasmine. You won't believe her update. Jasmine, Jonathan, it is so great to welcome you guys back to The Maury Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Most definitely. After the results of the last show, 10 long years ago, you left the stage last time feeling hurt. Tell me how you were able to push through that hardship with Jonathan and improve your relationship. I feel like it's based on whether you want it to work or not, period. We kind of, you know, both put our foot forward and we, we made it work. You guys ended up get, getting married, actually, a couple months after the show, correct? Yes. Tell me how we went from the Maury show to marriage. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's given me 100% of him dedicated to me and his family, so um, that's why I decided to go ahead and uh, pursue the marriage. She's the one I want to be with the rest of my life. Is it interesting for you to watch back and think like, wow, we were at a point like this a long time ago, and then now to see how far you guys have come? I look at it as motivation for anybody who's kind of struggling with um, infidelities, anybody who's struggling with um, uh, homelessness, whatever, because, you know, we kind of been through a lot. So um, everything that we got um, is definitely all due to the grace of God. Tell me how you and your family have obviously passed the time during quarantine. What have you guys been doing? Uh, arts and crafts, eating, grilling, mm -hmm. um, games. Homeowner is a full-blown family, happy relationship. Everything seems to have been going very, very well for you guys over these last 10 years. 
Obviously, we will definitely stay in communication to share more updates with the, the Mori audience. And I know how happy everyone's going to be to see how well you guys are doing. So thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. All right, guys. We'll talk very soon. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye. More updates from 10 years ago.